my favourite page is, is this page, um, which says, the works of William Shakespeare containing all his histories, comedies and tragedies truly set forth according to their first original and then follows the name of the principal actors in all these plays. It starts with William Shakespeare, because we have to remember William Shakespeare uh, acted as well, apparently good at playing kings. Um, there's a theory that perhaps he was also old Adam in As You Like It. And then there follows Richard Burbage. Burbage was the great actor of his day. Shakespeare wrote King Lear for him, Richard III, uh, Hamlet, Othello. Imagine being, having those line of parts written for you. Then comes John Hemmings, um, uh, who was, uh, I sort of think he was probably the kind of business manager. He seems certainly to have been a very busy man. He was from Droitwich in Worcestershire, um, so he was a Midlands lad, a bit like Shakespeare. Um, he uh, ran the Globe Tavern, as well as um, seeming to run most of the business uh, aspects too. Um, he had 15 kids, so he was kept very busy. Um, and he and his neighbour, Henry Condell, lived in St Mary's Aldermanbury uh, in the City of London. So they were neighbours, which must have been handy in getting this book together. William Kemp is the next uh, in the list. Will Kemp was, um, we know, played Dogbury in Much Ado About Nothing. Um, and we know probably he played Peter in, in, in Romeo and Juliet, the clown parts. Um, he may even have played Falstaff, we're not, we're not sure. But at some point he must have fallen out um, with uh, the Shakespeare and, and the company because he, in Lent 1600, um, jigged all the way to Norwich in a nine days wonder. He then jigged over the Alps and disappeared, so we know nothing more of Will Kemp after that. Then followed two of the other original sharers, Tom Pope and George Bryan. Then Henry Condell, the, the, um, the re-originator of this book with, with John Hemmings. Then William Sly, who we have a portrait of, and Richard Cowley, or Cooley. John Lowen was um, an actor who played, later on he played Henry VIII, we, we think, um, and took over Falstaff, we're, we're pretty sure, and some of the business management of the company. Then two rather wonderful names at the end of the first column of the list, Samuel Cross and Alexander Cook, or Coke. Alexander Cook um, and Samuel Cross were the two of the most famous boy actors in, in, the, in, in the original company. So these two boys must have played Rosalind and Celia, um, probably Portia and Larissa, um, possibly Helena and Hermia, and you get the idea that one of them was probably tall and one of them was probably short from, from that. But we know very little else about those two um, boys. Samuel Gilburn, we think, was also uh, a boy actor. And then you get the name of Robert Armin. Robert Armin um, was a, a, a followed William Kemp as the clown of the company. He was uh, discovered by Tarleton, the, 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 the clown, uh, the old, uh, famous old clown, um, improvising in a, in a pub in Gracechurch Street. So you could say that Robert Armin was talent spotted. Um, and he joined the company after Kemp's departure and Shakespeare wrote for him parts like Feste and, and Touchstone. And so the list goes on. 